Good morning, Lost Mountain. How y'all doing? Merry Christmas. If you're in the room with us, we're glad you're here. If you're online, we're glad you're joining us. We're here to sing to King Jesus. Let's raise our voices and celebrate our risen King. Come thou long expected Jesus, born to set thy people free our sins and fears release us let us find our rest in thee israel's strength and consolation hope of all the earth thou art dear desire of every nation joy sound great this morning. We're going to sing Jesus is coming to our world. Oh, you've come into our world, pleased as man and with man to dwell. Jesus Christ, our to deliver born a child and yet a king born to reign in us forever now thy gracious kingdom bring by thine own eternal spirit rule in all our hearts alone by thine sufficient merit raise us to thy glorious throne oh you've come into our world pleased as man and with man to dwell Jesus Christ our thy people free from our fears and sins release us let us find our rest in thee amen hey good morning everyone you can have a seat just for a few minutes my name is Jake, and I'd like to personally welcome you to Lost Mountain today. We want you to know that no matter what you've done, what's been done to you, or the things that you have participated in throughout life, you're in a safe place this morning. We're glad that you're here. Uh, if you happen to be a first or a second time guest with us, we would, no, we would want nothing more than to uh, give you a free gift. There is a book available at our welcome table right out here in the Welcome Center for you. It's called The Secular Creed, and so feel free to pick up a copy of that on your way out today. Also, if you didn't get the chance to attend last week, we gave out another free resource. It's Rebecca McLaughlin's Is Christmas Unbelievable? And so we uh, gave that out to everyone. So if you happen to not have had a chance to pick that up, there are several copies of that available for you that you can grab on your way out today. Also, we want the opportunity to connect with you today. And the easiest way to do that is by taking your program and grabbing the connection card that's inside of that and filling it out as fully as possible. Now, this isn't just a first or a second time guest thing. We encourage our members and our regular attenders to fill that connection card out. 
by just uh, submitting your name as well as your email address unless any of your information has changed. One of the reasons we ask everyone to fill that connection card out on a weekly basis is because we always believe that there are next steps that we can take towards our relationship with Christ to not only know him better, but to be known by him. So whether that is committing to uh, start giving regularly or to commit your life for the very first time or commit yourself to be baptized, that information is available to you to be filled out on the back of that connection card. And also, if you want some more information about the various ministries at Lost Mountain, feel free to check one of those boxes. Or if you're interested in serving here at Lost Mountain, that information is available to you as well. Also, there's a section for prayer requests. We take those very seriously, so feel free to fill out any prayer requests that might be heavily upon your heart today. And we will pray together uh, on your behalf as a staff today. Also, in your program, you will notice a giving envelope. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank you to those of you who invest in the ongoing ministry here at Lost Mountain. There's so many things that we can accomplish on a weekly basis due to your financial faithfulness to this church. So we're going to be doing offering a little bit differently today. So hold on to your connection cards as well as those giving envelopes, and we will receive some further instruction later on in the service today. But let me say this, we could not be more happy that you're here today. Thank you so much for spending your Sunday morning with us, especially if you're a first or a second time guest. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for enduring the elements, obviously. And we want nothing more than to hear what God wants to speak into our lives today. And so um, as we continue on in the service this morning, I'd like the opportunity to pray over us, and then we will continue worshiping in song. Would you pray with me? Father in heaven, we are so grateful to be in this place again at this time, at this moment in history. We understand that you are still speaking to your people. We understand that we can gather and celebrate freely to understand that the message of Christ still has very significant implications for the way that we choose to walk out our existence in this world. We also understand that you are sovereignly in control of every possible thing down to the very reality that you knew every person that would be sitting in the exact seat that they're sitting in today. So we're we're coming here with a, with a host of different uh, circumstances today. And I pray specifically for every person, whether they have come and they are ready to encounter you again so that they can leave changed and further ready to uh, impact their community and their occupations for the sake of the name of Jesus, or they are just struggling beyond belief due to an addiction, due to a divorce, due to uh, their world just becoming unraveled around them. I pray that you would meet every single person at the point of their need today because we desperately need you and we desperately need to be reminded of the gospel moment by moment by moment. And so have free reign in this service today to do what only you can do. And thank you for supplying the forgiveness that is absolutely essential for every single one of us through what was accomplished in the life and the death and the resurrection of Jesus himself. Thank you that we get to remember this season and reflect upon it as the incarnation, the fact that you came into the world and wrapped yourself in flesh and you would later go to the cross and endure it and scorn its shame and then ascend again to seat yourself at the right hand of God the Father where you make intercession for us. And so give us uh, attentive hearts and open ears today to listen. We pray this in Jesus' name together. Amen. Yeah, will y'all go ahead and stand back up with us? Even though it's thundering outside, 
There is joy in the house of the Lord this morning. God who was, we worship the God who is, we worship the God who evermore will be. He opened the prison doors, he parted the raging sea. My God, he holds the victory. There's joy in the house of the Lord, there's joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet, no, we shout out your praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord, our God is surely in this place. And we won't be quiet, no, we shout out your praise. Oh, oh, oh. we shout out your praise. Oh, oh, yeah, we sing to the God who heals. We sing to the God who saves. We sing to the God who always makes a way. Cause he hung up on that cross. Then he rose up from that grave. My God still rolling stones away. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There's joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. No, we shout out in praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. Our God is surely in this place. And we won't be quiet. No, we shout out your praise. We were the beggars. Now we're royalty. We were the prisoners. Now we're Accepted, redeemed by His grace. Let the house of the Lord sing praise. Let's sing praise, y'all. We were the beggars, now we're royalty. We were the prisoners, now we're running free. We are forgiven, accepted, redeemed by His grace. Let the house of the Lord sing praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There's joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. No, we shout out your praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. Our God is surely in this place. And we won't be quiet. No, we shout out your praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There's joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. No, we shout out your praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. Our God is surely in this place. And we won't be quiet. No, we shout out your praise. Oh, oh, oh. we shout out your praise.
Still through the cloven skies they come with peaceful wings unfurled, and still their heavenly music flows through all. Let's sing that chorus one more time. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God evermore. Good news, great joy for Father, we love you, and we are thankful for the gift of your son, Jesus, in our life. Be with us as we receive today what it is that you're speaking. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. We're just going to continue to worship today. Yeah. 
are standing in your glory. You are here. You are holy. We are standing in your glory. Amen. You guys can go ahead and have a seat. In just a couple of minutes, we will receive offering this morning. I want to give you a couple of minutes to finish filling out those connection cards, giving envelopes if you give on Sunday morning, um, as opposed to throughout the week online uh, or by text. In just a minute, I'm going to, to pray for us. And while I'm, pray, while I'm praying, our offering ushers will make their way to their spots. When I finish praying, they'll begin passing the buckets. You guys just pass those down. They'll pick them up. You can drop in your connection cards, drop in your giving envelopes. If you do need more time, obviously, if you are uh, familiar with uh, Lost Mountain already, you know we've got the drop boxes on the walls. You can drop those on your way up. But I want to remind you that this moment is part of the worship service. The act of giving is an act of obedient worship, faithfulness, and trust to God. Some of you gave throughout the week as as I do, you give online. Let me encourage you to do something, especially if, you're, uh, if your giving is automated. For those of us who are salaried, it's an easy way, a great way to stay faithful and obedient. But I know when mine comes out. I know the days. And it's, it gives me an opportunity on that day to pause in prayer and thank God for his provision and to declare to myself again before God that he is the owner of it all and that all that I receive all that Sharon and I have exists for God's glory. So as we move into this moment, this final act of worship this morning, um, I just want to thank you for your generous support of Lost Mountain. It makes such a huge difference. Let me pray for us, and as I pray, our offering ushers will make their way to their spots and we'll pass the buckets and receive offering this morning. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we declare this morning and during this time of receiving offering that all that we have belongs to you, God. That is a truth, whether we live into that and submit to that or not. God, we thank you for your generous provision. God, during this time when we celebrate the sacrifice of your son, God, we say with a collective voice, there's no sacrifice of generosity on our part that can match that but that is too great for you God bless those who are about to give bless those who've given throughout the week Father I pray that their faith and their joy might be increased I do so in the faithful name of Jesus Christ Amen Alright as those buckets come by you guys can drop in those connection cards drop in your giving envelopes and then the offering ushers will be back and receive those buckets I want to remind you of a couple of things uh, before we head out this morning Tonight, last church conference, for those of you that are members of the year, we'll vote in the 2022 budget for this next year, if you can make it back for that. Also, next Sunday is the Christmas Choir Special. Encourage you to be back to that. I think you're going to be uh, uplifted and really encouraged. Also, 
Tuesday of this week, uh, Tuesday, you guys will get an email. We're, we've waited to hear back from um, Calvary Children's Home. There is a general list that we sent out on the e-news of things that they just generally need all the time. Um, but we've asked, what do they need the most right now? And they said, give us just a couple of days to talk to our house parents, and we'll get back to you on that. So we expect to hear back from them tomorrow. We'll send that out to you on Tuesday. And we're asking you to treat that like a buy-in to the Christmas Choir special. Go get some stuff, bring it up here. We'll take all of that and give it to Calvary Children's Home. If you want to know something about Jesus' heart for the least of these in our society, it has got to be for young men and women who have not been adopted. No one chose to adopt them, and they are aging out of the foster care system and those that care for them. So I encourage you to be as generous as you can. Bring that stuff in next week. You'll hear more about it this week. Let's stand. Let's get out of here. Enjoy your walk to the car. I love you guys. So great to see you this morning. We'll see you next week. Have a great evening.